Hi, and thank you for joining me. My name is Malena, and I'm the founder of Campaign Trackly. Today, I'll be showing you how to track the impact of your YouTube videos in three easy steps. YouTube offers several ways in which your videos can drive traffic and conversions to your website, including annotations and call to action overlays. For this tutorial, I'll focus on call to action overlays. So step one, let's open the video that you want to promote and click on info and settings. You need to have editing privileges to be able to create and edit videos, by the way. If you don't, ask your administrator for help. In Info and Settings, we will click on the Call to Action Overlay tab. This Overlay Call to Action is a little pop-up that will display on top of your video as it plays, inviting the person who is watching it to take a specific marketing action. My Call to Action here will be Start Tracking for free because I want people to visit my homepage and hopefully sign up for our free automated link tracking app. The display URL is the address that will be shown on your call to action button. So here I'll put my website address www.campaigntrackly.com because I want to direct all visitors to my homepage. The destination URL is going to be my website address with a few tracking parameters added at the end. So I can easily track if the video is sending visitors to my website and if these visitors are signing up for my free plan. To do that, I need to generate my tracking parameters so that I can tell Google to keep track of my campaign and put all the data related to it in a special section that I can easily find at a later point in time. So let's go to step two. Step two, tag your links and get them ready for use with a few clicks. I'm going to show you how to generate your tracking links in seconds using the Campaign Trackly Chrome extension. All it takes is a click on the icon and it opens up in a transparent layer on top of the page I'm on. No need to go to the campaigntrackly.com site or login, everything happens in my browser. As you can see, under campaign name, the app immediately captured the title of the video. It also grabbed its web address. But in this case, I'm not promoting the video, I'm using it to promote my home page. That is why I will change the link to my home page and the address is www.campaigntrackly.com. Next, I'll click on the drop-down menu in the app's preset section and I'll choose my video tagging template or preset. This is something I created ahead of time so I don't have to type manually my content, source, and term tags every time I want to track the performance of my videos. The template gives me the option to track both an overlay in an annotation call to action, but for this tutorial, I'll only use the link that will track the overlay call to action. So let's go ahead and copy and paste it in the destination URL field and hit save. And now we want to test and see if the link works. Yes, it has captured successfully all the tracking parameters that we entered. And now on to step three, check the results in Google Analytics. If you're using the free Google Analytics version, you might want to check your results in a day or two after you promote your video. The way to do that is to go to Google Analytics, Acquisition, Campaigns, All Campaigns, where you can click on content, which is available under the option here, other, and then you can select content to see the traffic and conversions your video is generating. Alternatively, you can click on keyword so that you can see the exact call to action that is driving your conversions. 
I don't have anything to show you right now because I haven't started my promotion, but I hope to have some good results as soon as I launch it. And that's all for today. Hope this tutorial was useful and you learn how easy it is to track your video performance in Google Analytics. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to tweet us at Campaign Trackly or visit us at www.campaigntrackly.com. Thank you.